Zika virus is a flavivirus, so it's part of the family of yellow fever and West Nile virus, and it is spread by mosquitoes that bite during the day. Okay. For most people, it causes a mild flu-like illness that goes away within two to seven days. But we're worried about pregnant women. Brazil, over about a year of watching this, they noticed an increase in cases of microcephaly, which is a small brain and is associated with developmental delays. We don't know that Zika virus actually causes this yet. That's still to be determined, but we think there's an association. So we are advising pregnant women who are traveling to Zika areas to be A, cautious, do they want to travel to this area if there's an actual high incidence, and B, if they do, to use daytime insect repellents. You want to use a repellent that has at least 20% DEET in it. This is a cream. I like to start with this in the morning and then I'll use the spray to do touch-ups in the late afternoon, early evening. Right now we're talking about the Caribbean, Central America, South America. Those seem to be the high-risk areas for Zika at the moment. So that means getting up every morning, applying a sunscreen, and then applying an insect repellent about 15 to 20 minutes after your sunscreen, getting dressed in light-colored clothing that covers as much of you as possible, so long sleeves, long pants and avoiding perfumes. Mosquitoes like perfume. Travel clinics will have it, mountain equipment co-op, three vets. The virus tends to be very mild for the most part. Fever, headache, muscle aches, uh, joint aches, and it goes away on its own in three to seven days. We are the travel clinic with Vancouver Coastal Health. Okay. And come and see one of our doctors for specific advice about where you're going.